Hello everybody! Hope you're doing great and are ready for some volcano updates. The eruptions in Faradarsfjall came close to claiming their first lives on Saturday when two people decided it was a good idea to walk on the just days old lava to get closer to the main crater. Isak Finnboason has a YouTube channel where he live streams the eruption from a bird's eye view where you can see the full video of the stair devils. You could say they're lucky to be alive as walking on a fresh lava field is no joke. Lava could break out at any moment and it's not easy to outrun it. Even the lava field of the last eruption shouldn't be walked on. Another section of the fissure has closed, leaving the main crater alone on the stage. More than 6,500 people visited the eruption site on Saturday, which is the highest number recorded even with the last eruption included. The weather was finally clear in Iceland, so our experts were able to take to the sky and get some real measurements. Let's go over the data. Over the past week, there haven't been any drastic changes in the eruption, like a new fissure. It has just continued in a very stable and unexpected way. But there have still been a lot of visual changes. The main crater has now grown quite a lot, making the eruption site quite similar to how the last eruption looked like two months after it started. And keep in mind, this eruption isn't even two weeks old. Lava continues to fill Meradalir Valley and now covers over 1.2 square kilometers. And the volume of the lava already spewed out is over 10 million cubic meters, with the average lava discharge being 10.3 cubic meters per second since August 5th. So a significant drop from the 32 cubic meters per second we saw on the first day of the eruption, and the 17 cubic meters per second on August 4th to 5th. When Meradalir Valley is full, the lava has to flow somewhere, and that somewhere is most likely going to be here. This is the gate out of Meradalir, and if the lava ends up continuing out it instead of flowing north, it would have a straight path towards Suður Strandarvegur, which is the road you drive on to visit the eruption. It wouldn't come down in the parking area though, it's a few kilometers to the east, where the lava would cross the road, and cut it off, making it harder for people living in towns like Thorlaugshöp, Kverargerði, and Selfors to get to work, if they work in Grindavík or Reykjanesbær, that's to say. Engineers and experts are making plans to battle the lava and hopefully guide it to a more favorable area like we did in the previous eruption. Then we had a strange occurrence on Saturday at around 6 a.m. The harmonic tremors suddenly dropped. In the last eruption, this happened before new fissures opened, but this time that wasn't the case. It's not clear what caused it, but maybe a new fissure was about to open, but just didn't quite make it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So, that's how the eruption is going on the 15th of August 2022. It's going to be exciting to see what changes we'll see in the next couple of days. New fissures, increase or decrease in output, we'll just have to wait and see. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video and thanks for watching.